ओके माय टॉपिक इज कैरबरोस मोटिवेशन ओके इन कैरबरोस फॉलोइंग टू अप्रोचेस टू सिक्योरिटी वेयर देयर लाइक इन ओल्ड टाइम्स if a set of users is provided with dedicated personal computers that have no network connections then the user resources and files can be protected by physically securing each personal computer so when there was no dedicated when users are provided with personal computers that are, that are, add no network connections then users resources were protected by physically that means one by one securing each personal computer and that was one approach and another approach is when these users are instead are served by a centralized time sharing system that time sharing operating system must provide the security the system which provides time sharing operating system must provide the security the operating system can enforce access control policies based on user identity and use the logon procedure to identify the users and the operating system also can enforce access control policies based on the user identity and use the logon procedure identity but in today's world neither of these scenarios are typical so more common is a distributed architecture consisting of dedicated user workstation so a distributed network with dedicated user workstation that means clients and a distributed or centralized servers in this environment three approaches to security can be envisioned first one is rely on each individual client workstation to assure the identity of its user or users and rely on each server to enforce a security policy based on the user identification that is user id then require that client system authenticate themselves to servers but trust the client system concerning the identity of its users then third one is require the user to prove his or her identity for each service invoked also require that servers prove their identity to clients these are the three approaches that can be envisioned to provide security in kerberos here is in a small or small or and closed environment in which all system are owned and operated by a single organization the first or perhaps the second strategy may suffice that means we can see uh, relying on each individual client or session to receive the identity of its user or else require the client system to authenticate themselves to server these two may work in a small or closed environment but in a more environment more open environment in which network connections to other machines are supported the third approach is needed to protect user information and resources of the server the third approach is require the user to prove his or identity that means when a user is when a user is invokes any services or user wants any services then he or she may need to to prove their identity and also it it requires servers to prove their identity to clients so user proves its identity and also server proves its identity to clients that approach can be very that approach should be used in a open network open environment with the, network connections kerberos supports this third approach kerberos assumes a distributed client server architecture and employs one or more kerberos servers to provide an authentication service that's it thank you